Hey, what's up guys? This is Armand here. So today I'm going to talk about my new monitor that I got from BenQ, which is XL2411Z. It's a great monitor with these incredible specs in it. So as you can see right here, it's got 144Hz frame rate, got this software that you could actually monitor everything and then change the settings visually and graphically. And then it's got 1ms response time. So yeah, there you go. So the only problem that I have experienced after getting this monitor was this color adjustments, which is actually called a color profile, as you say. So today, as I was watching this video from Armitrix, was all right. This all right, it's a review of this monitor, and he actually mentioned my problem that I was experiencing, which was the color profile. So he actually left a link of this right here so when I clicked it I got this file downloaded right in my download folder so I actually have a download already so I just delete it and go on the that I have already so yeah this is the zip folder it's supposed to be these two files are supposed to be in the zip folder right here so what you gotta do is what I did was I took these files out and put it individually so the problem I was facing after that was that I didn't even know how to install it. So, and I actually looked for it on YouTube that they didn't have any video. And then I actually had to research on it for quite a while and then I found a solution for it. If you're running Windows 8, 7, or 8.1, you gotta go to search and search for color management. So, in color management, When you go in there, you will see a default already installed in there, but I already have changes, so this is not the old one, this is the new one that I've just installed. So, let's add a new color profile, you have to go to add, and then you just have to look for it in there. You might find it right here if, it, if the computer finds it automatically, but if you have the same one as I have, like you will see, and you download the same ICC profile for it, so you go to the BenQ 2420Z which actually has better color settings and stuff integrated in it so if you can't see it right here go to browse and then wherever you download the file go there and then if you if you actually download a zip file so what you gotta do is show all files so and then it's gonna pop up right there and then so when you click it it might say it cannot be recognized or something else so something like that shows up you have to do what I did right here you have to take the files out of the zip file and then put them individually and then go to color management back again 